Hi guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In the next topic of memory management, we will be discussing one most important factor called swap in swap out. The term can also be understood with something which we call as dynamic loading. First, let's try to understand why we need to load things dynamic and what do you mean by dynamic. In the simplest possible words, dynamic means when called. So currently we are talking about one thing. Do not load process before, but load them when they are called. What is the advantage of doing so? The advantage of doing so is better utilization of memory. Utilization of memory. Now, how this thing is going to work and what is a factor? Okay, let's understand factors first. We have limited RAM, that is random access memory. We have limited resource. We have unlimited unlimited processes and requests why are we discussing this we try to understand or we are trying to understand one small concept your RAM no matter how big it is cannot store all the processes which are available under processor X so what would happen only one of the process would get executed every time remaining would be removed from the RAM because they are no longer needed over there. So now how things would turn? We clearly said limited RAM, limited resource, unlimited processes. So obvious that RAM would get full and somewhere over the corner we need to remove certain data so that data can have space for growing. The same concept can be understood with this diagram. We have user space in which we can store processes whichever is needed. But at a regular interval, but at a regular interval, OS needs to decide on certain number of programs or processes which it wants to remove and store it to backend storage device. Mind you, in this, those processes which are under some kind of interrupt or a wait state, they are not included, they will be performing activate in order to get the final result. So, swapping in and out means what? Simple. Swap in means the program, let's say P1, gets copied to this particular, to this particular RAM area. Further, when the job is done, updation is performed, and we want to get it back or rather send it back then using swap out we can simply throw all the data back to the storage why swapping in swapping out is that important because swapping in swapping out enables user to change programs go through several other stuff like bus tabs and other needed option but this all should be done within certain time and using certain algorithms. We have a set of algorithms which we'll be talking about, but then that will be taken in a separate video. Thank you for watching this video.